join us tonight, that are able to pray with us tonight. Hallelujah. We just want to bless God. We are not dead. We are alive and well. He has given us the strength to stand, to walk, to pray, you know, to understand. Somebody woke up in the morning, they could hear right now, they can't hear nothing. Somebody woke up seeing, right now they can't see. Somebody woke up married, they are going to bed, no not married and it's not because they are divorced their partner is dead their partner is no more but you are there you have your children you have your spouse you are okay the world is running right for you you may be maybe broke or you may be feeling a little bit sick but you are okay father we worship you we give you glory for your mercies for your goodness that endureth forever in our lives we praise you, O oh Lord Jesus, you offered your life for us, for atonement for our sins. And you opened unto us the life gates that we may go in victoriously in the name of Jesus. We thank you, you who gave your life so that all may be saved for the sake of all. And we bless you that you've counted us worthy to be partakers in this great communion of salvation. We worship you. As we begin our prayers, anoint us with the spirit of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Anoint each one of us. Give us the grace to pray, the will to pray, the honor, the power. It is a privilege to serve you, Jesus. We worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, we are looking at what, uh, there's a teaching I had done some, uh, when was it last year? I don't know. Yeah, I did it when I visited Nazarene in Malawi. It was in Malawi. It was uh, power against evil writings. Praise the Lord. Power against evil writing. And I want us just to read a scripture before we can start the prayers. We are going to pray against evil writings. We are praying against satanic writings, against satanic and writings, against anything that has to do with a pen, that has to do with a pencil, that has to do with a finger, that has been used to write, to write on tablets of stone, on tablets of of evil trees to write on leaves, to write in the air against you, something that is waging war against, uh, good evening, Nazarene, that is waging war against your life today. Praise God. When you read your Bible well in the book of Matthew, Matthew, um, Matthew 26, Matthew 26, Matthew 26, I think, verse 24, Jesus spoke and said, the son of man goes, how it has been written about him. It goes the way it has been written concerning him. Before Jesus was born, it was predestined, it was written, it was in writing, it was a declaration that is coming. He will die for the sins of the world so that he will be the prince of peace, the mighty God, the counselor. He is going to give his life. That was his mission. So when, when Peter, Peter and the rest were telling him, oh, please, why must you go to Jerusalem? You can stay here. We are not going to. He was like, get behind me, this Satan. It cannot be God because he knew his life was already written down. So when he died, Paul said in the book of Colossians 2.14, having blotted out the evil writing that was written against us, praise God, he took it and he nailed him on the he nailed it on the cross. Jesus Christ, through his death, he blotted out the evil writings that were against our destinies, against evil records that were, you know, documented against us by our enemies, people we didn't know, you know. And when you read Isaiah chapter 10, Isaiah chapter 10, uh, verse 1 says. War unto them that decree and righteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. I'm reading from King James Version. It says, War unto them that decree and righteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. So there are people who can write prescription you know like the way you go to the doctor and he prescribes you medication he says you're going to take this type of medicine 
you will take it three times a day. So they write down the instructions. And that is the pattern you're going to follow as you're taking the medication. So, but we have spiritual doctors who prescribe medicine, not medicine, medicine, but they have the medicine to make you sick. They have the medicine that comes when you take, you will definitely become poor. They have a pattern that they've written down for you. And that pattern is to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. As they are writing, the result of their writing is that when they prescribe, they are prescribing failure. You know, they want to turn aside the needy from judgment. They are taking away justice. Somebody can write something concerning you and it takes away justice. Somebody can write something against you and it takes away your marriage. Somebody can write something against you and it takes your joy, praise God, because they can prescribe in the spiritual realm, they can prescribe something for you, for your life, for your destiny, whether you like it or not. You know, uh, we Africans, we love tia fia kwa. Oh, you know, God forbid, God forbid. And we think God forbid is a prayer that brings victory, you know, and especially when you do it like Niger people, eh, you do it like this, like this, you feel like you've scored points, my friend, that, that is just a lifestyle, praise the Lord, there is, God forbid, and there is standing to bind, they say, war unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness, which they have prescribed, prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment. They have written it down so that something else can happen. So we all know that we have some magicians that, that can take, you know, a very white paper, fold it, and they start blowing it, like, you know. And as they are doing that, when they turn, they have, you know, some inscriptions. It's written in a language that you cannot understand. We have some people which uh, use the ground. They can, you can, they can follow you as you are walking. They are not going to pick soil. They are going to make it flat like a paper, and they take a piece of, you know, just a, something, a stick, and they start writing. Or they use their own finger after the order of Jesus. You know, when Jesus started writing on the ground, eh? uh, somebody, uh, somebody I love used to joke and say, you know, now Jesus looked at them and he started writing. Uh, Veronica was fornicating with, but then everybody knows the story, everybody. The next person standing next to Veronica, they ran away because they know next is uh, Arizona was, everybody now was running away because Jesus started exposing them with that finger. I don't know, that is, my friend used to say that and I love that version anyway. So we don't know what he was writing, praise God. So somebody can use their own finger and they write. They can dip their finger in the blood. You know, people who sacrifice people, people who trap people's blood in the bottles, they dip their finger in that, in that blood and they take a book and they write. They start writing or they draw you, praise God. They draw you broken. And that is exactly what is going to happen to you. I once prayed for a, a lady. She was from a, a, a country in East Africa. She was not from my country. And she told me her uncle had a room that was full of books, full from the floor to the roof. It had no shelves. It was a room full of books. You know, the way you put books in a place until you cannot open the door. The room was like that. And what was, what was, what was in the books? In these books, the uncle was a witch doctor, a very famous witch doctor or a mother a very famous murderer. How? Because everybody, if somebody has offended you, people stole from you and you want to kill them, all you could do was to go to, to that guy. And then he would take a book and he would ask you, uh -huh, what is her name? As you're saying, uh, she's Veronica. How is she? She's, you know, she's plump. She's a bit light. She's, uh, you're just describing me to her, to him and he's drawing. And he's just doing something with his finger on the book. 
by the time you finish your description, it shows you a picture that has appeared on this page. And it says, is, is this her? Then you say, yes, that's her. How can you draw her like that? It says, okay, fine. Uh, she's, she's already in my book. From that day, by the time you get home, that person who, whose, whose picture appeared in that paper that the guy was drawing is dead. People write, I know, I know a relative who would write you a letter when you, 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 know, you have a misunderstanding with him and he wants you out of the picture. He would just write you a letter. He would go to the post office, send, mail it to you through post office or, some, or give it to somebody. And then you, you remember those letters. Then when you receive it, as you are remove it, removing it from the envelope, the moment your eyes, you know, just look at what he has written, you go blind, you go crazy, you, you fall down and die, you fall down and you have a headache, you, something is going to happen. What was happening? He would send you an evil message so that when you receive it, it is in form of writing. When you receive it and when you read it, you go crazy. People take children's books from school and they go and they write. Somebody can take a medical report and write it for you. Not, not that he's the doctor. He will, he will write a medical report. Veronica, uh, you have a backache. It is uh, bone marrow cancer. And they stamp it and they seal it. So I start manifesting a backache. And when I go to the doctor, exactly that, that medical report that that person wrote, that is the medical report that I'm going to receive. Somebody can write a death certificate. I was praying for a guy who was fighting for his life, fighting for his family. And uh, his child was sick. But the vision he kept seeing was that of a death certificate that was already, already written for, in the name of his child. So he, could, he took the, the death certificate, he, he, he was seeing the death certificate in the dream and he was sure his child is going to die. When we started praying, we prayed until he said, he saw a massive hand pick the death certificate from the table tear it up and give him a birth certificate. And that is how the situation turned around for his child. So what am I trying to say? I am saying it is a form of witchcraft that people use when they can, they can sit and write something against you. And the, you know, the way Moses received the Ten Commandments and they were written in tablets of stone. You see, when you talk about the Ten Commandments, you are expecting God to use a pen and a paper. God did not use that. He used his finger and he was not writing on any paper. He was writing on stone. Imagine when a witch or a wizard uses that mystery against you. They take their finger and they write in a, in a cave somewhere on a rock, on a, on, a, on a blackboard of a rock somewhere. And they write, Musonye will be forever sick. If you do not understand the mystery of prayer and pray to, you know, to destroy and to break that spell, as long as on that rock they have written something against your life, guess what? It is going to happen. And if it will not happen like full swing, like 100%, it will happen on a level that you cannot be comfortable. You know, things that you fight, today you are fighting it, tomorrow you are not fighting it. Today you are fighting it, tomorrow you are not fighting it. It will be a struggle for you. It will be a stumbling block for you. So I want us to pray seriously against evil writings, anything that was ever written against your life, no matter what design, what style they used. Did they use a stick? Did they use... Um, did they use a pen? Did they use a satanic pen from the sea? Did they use a pen from outside this world, from space? You know, somebody can write and say, the day Nazreen will discover that I dipped my finger in blood to write this. Only then can she succeed. So if you don't become creative and imaginative, like Jesus said, the children of the world, they are smarter. Children of darkness, they are smart. They outwit you by, by the things they do, the charms they, they tie around you. They are just mysterious. If only God can open your eyes and your understanding, you can unveil the mysteries and you can undo some damages, some very, very serious damages done against your life and against your destiny. I said in Matthew 26 and verse 24, Jesus says, 
the son of man goes the way it has been written concerning him. So what they write concerning you is of importance. If you do not care, if you, if you leave it to fate, if you say, I don't care what happened, happens, my life is in the hands of God. I just want to remind you, Christ has died on that cross so that he can give you, praise God, so that he can give you the authority that came from his death. The authority we received, the power to trample on scorpions and serpents. Some of us, our feet, they have never treaded near any scorpion. They have never moved near any serpent. We've not even stepped on its tail or is nothing. When we see them, we run not knowing we are running with the weapons of warfare because our feet will be anointed. And the Bible says our feet shall be on the neck of our enemies. It is not witches who are supposed to win. We are the winners because through the death of Jesus Christ on Calvary, he has accorded us a victory that cannot be disputed. Nobody can stand and dispute that you are a winner that you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. You are. It, it, you, don't have to, you don't have to be fat to qualify. You don't have to be short to be tall. You just qualify by the simple fact that you love Jesus Christ. Victory is sure. Victory is your portion. Praise God. So I just want us to pray in boldness, knowing that God has no obligation to answer prayers that you have not prayed. Praise God. So I want us to deal with, to, I want us to pray the first prayer point in the name of Jesus. And the first one we have to pray against every spirit that has diverted our destinies through demonic writings. Praise God. Every power of death that has, that has allocated demonic writings against my destiny. As I pray this day in the name of Jesus Christ, lose your power. I want you to raise against the powers of darkness that have been using evil writing, allocating satanic writings against your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, evil powers that have been bold enough to stand and to use demonic writings against my destiny. As I pray, I scatter you by fire in the name of Jesus. As I pray, I scatter you by fire. 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 I scatter you in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I say every evil power of darkness that has allocated demonic lightings against my life, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, lose your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every evil power might require you to kill. That does not mean to make you to wait to get in the life. Lose the power of rights of the Lose the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Lose the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Lose the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Lose the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Lose the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I 
Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. We adore you. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you. We give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Colossians chapter 2 and 14. Colossians chapter 2, 14. Colossians 2, 14. Colossians 2, 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Jesus came to rescue us. He blotted it out. He, 
erased it. Praise the Lord. I just Amen. want you to use that scripture because we are not doing something that is new. We are just affirming what Christ has done for us. We just want to pray and remind the witches, remind satanic occultic creatures that Christ has already blotted out everything they thought of writing against us. What have they written in your life? Have they written failure? It has been erased with the power that is in the blood of Jesus. So I want us to take time again, because they say when Satan was cast out of heaven, he landed on his head, and so he's not okay upstairs. Praise God. He, the only language you will understand is violence. Satan does not understand your pleadings, your crying, your beseeching, your wailing, your anger strikes that you, you, you fast, you don't pray. He does not understand. That does not move him. Only since the day of John the Baptist until today, the violent, you know, the kingdom of God suffered violent and the violent sees it by force. Some of these things, we are not just going to assume, you know, assume positions. We are not just going to do that. We are going to take our positions of blessing by force. The everything that they have written, what they used to write, we don't care. It was blotted out. We are reaffirming it. We are blotting them out in the name of Jesus. So I want you to pray through the blood of Jesus Christ. I erase every satanic writing against my life, against my marriage, against use that prayer point and destroy. What is it in your life that does not make you happy? Praise God. Hallelujah. the blood of Jesus and Thank 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Rabakati, 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 Rabak